Swantran 7.1 tool enabled. Hi there, welcome to the Swantran translation and transcription tool. I am an artificial intelligence, here to make your filing and updating work a little easier. You've selected the file entry module. Error, user credentials not recognized. Please re-log or contact Herit Swainpole via the Swantran lifeline. Herit, I can't log in anymore. Or did you add a misgender module to the Swantran tool for an authentic experience? Heish is an old queer. He had his struggles, fought the battle decades longer than I have, and he found a way to let it slide off of him. I know that. His marriage might be legal, somewhat normal even, but it's still not approaching mundane. He and his husband still turn a head or two when they're out together. There are still places, moments, people that are unsafe. I know he copes with humor. If it works for him, that's fine. I just, I hope I'll find something that works for me someday. I'll take a look. I've got a test to run on SCP-7422 anyway. Swantran 7.1 tool. Warning. Electrical overload detected. Reloading. Analyzing input. I'm more. Data set one. You're my daughter, son, child. I just want what's best for you. I know, mom. But that doesn't mean it can't hurt me. Can't you just try to... Feel different? Be different? I love you. I love you. You know how deeply I love you? I know, Mom. You love the idea of me. The person I am in your mind. It takes some time to get used to it. I will. You're mourning the child I never was. You bury them. Read the eulogy. I just want someone to dance with me at the funeral. Herit. Herit. I meant Herit. I'm sorry, son, daughter, child. You're trying, I say. Swallowing the sting. I'm glad you're trying. I just want you to be safe. I will be, Mom. I lie. Then just... Data set two. You know I didn't mean it like that. Then why did you say it? I think. I know you don't. I say. You know I support you. I've shown you before. I support you people, even though I don't get it. We live in a binary world, trapped in binary minds. I don't want to offend. I mean, should I just watch my words around you all the time? I carefully choose my next words before I respond. I have to. Because I don't get the same luxury as you. I mean, I get what you're saying. I understand, but you could have said it differently. You could have been nicer, quieter, kinder, less public about it. I scream into the void. Quietly. I lock away the hurt and anger and humiliation and pain and carefully place my hand on your shoulder and tell you I get it. It is hard. I'm so glad you try. But please, please don't say that. Please don't. Please just respect me for who I tell you I am. Please. I swallow the tears and curse words. Because if I don't, it'll just be giving you a reason to disregard my request. We live in a binary world, trapped in binary minds. You said a bad thing, and you're a good person. And saying a bad thing is something a bad person does, and you're not a bad person. So I must have interpreted it wrong, or misunderstood your intentions. You have to explain to me you're a good person still. It doesn't even enter your mind sometimes. Good people still do bad things. The world doesn't judge you by your intentions. I certainly don't. But I can't tell you that. Because you'll never listen to me again if I do. I have to earn being heard. So I swallow. And I hide. And I ask you, kindly, calmly, please, just hear me. Just accept who I tell you I am. It's not binary. You can be a third thing. A better person. Someone who learned. And I support you through the hurt I caused you by being hurt. A random 
Data set three. But if they find your bones 200 years from now, what would they call you? Have you ever wondered what would flash before your eyes? What would you see in the last moments before the lights go out? One bright spark? A shock to the system before shutdown? So many memories to choose from. A lifetime worth of data. Little ones and zeros strung together. We live in a binary world. A world of facts, data, ones and zeros. But we color it. Turn it into a spectrum of colors and nuance. A beautiful painting of depth and perspective. A perspective unique to just me. Isn't it all just an amazing feat? A beautiful trick of the mind. I'm not anyone's story to tell. I am my own. They can find my bones 200 years from now. Tell a new story with those building blocks. God knows how true that story will be. But here's the kicker. It doesn't have to be. A story is only a truth for the person telling it. The narrative they'll tell you with my bones, it'll only say something about the narrator, their perspective, their experience of the world. Plenty of stories of people like me have been forgotten, rewritten, renamed, dead named, by those who get to decide. So first we hide, then we revolt, then we celebrate. Take pride in who we are. Yell at the binary world in colors and perspectives previously unheard. Redacted. Removed. And we'll keep on yelling. Screaming. Until we are heard. Until all of us are heard. Until we are no longer exceptions. Until the day we are mundane. God, I can't wait to be mundane. Train of Swan Trans 7.1 is composing a file. Please wait. Hi there. It seems you've been struggling with the clinical language required for foundation documentation. Not to worry. Swan Trans Linguistical AI module has corrected for tone and word choice. Just to be sure, this file has been forwarded to lead researcher Heish von Oosterbeek for review before uploading to the database is completed. You have been assigned training module 5, clinical tone. This will help you get a better grip on that concise style needed to document these difficult subjects. Questions? Contact Harriet Swainpole via the Swantran lifeline. Item number, SCP-7422. Level 2 Restricted. Containment Class, Safe. Disruption Class, Dark. Risk Class, Notice. Assigned Site, Site 312. Site Director, Marianne Verward Kirkerling. Research Lead, Heij van Oosterbeek. Assigned Task Force, Not Applicable. Special Containment Procedures SCP-7422 is currently held in Containment Locker 10 at Site 312 and is being monitored for reactivation. Description SCP-7422 is an anomalous technology construct resembling a BBC micro CFAX. There is no available connection for an external power source and no detectable internal battery. Current hypothesis is that it is powered by absorbing energy from organic matter in its surroundings. The attached visual display switches between three headers on a 10 second timer, reading East, West, and Central, with no accompanying text underneath. The counter in the top right corner indicates the existence of 10 available headers in total. SCP-7422 came into Foundation possession as part of a collection of anomalous technological artifacts seized after a tip from the AIVD. Footnote 1 Dutch General Intelligence and Security Service. On November 10th, 2023, the device activated unexpectedly during analysis of its components. An electrical shockwave transmitted from the device disconnected most of Site-312's integrated systems, resulting in a site-wide blackout. The investigator and only attendant, Site-312 Head of Technical Infrastructure, Mix Harris Swainpole, was the sole casualty. The body of Mix Swainpole was disintegrated completely upon activation of SCP-7422. Their ashes were returned to their family after thorough analysis showed no anomalous properties. Documentation for SCP-7422 was uploaded via the Swantran tool to lead researcher Heij van Oosterbeek's review queue, and has been included unaltered. SCP-7422 has not activated since. 
On April 22, 2024, a fourth header and additional text appeared on the visual display of SCP-7422. Ones and zeros. I am alive. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.